Welcome back to Dish. Now we're making our mustard maple skillet chicken. Yes. We've added the chicken back to the sauce. Let me tell you what we added. We added the tablespoon of ground mustard, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, yes, I believe, yep. and then I added three tablespoons of my homemade maple yes. syrup. And I want to point this out. Here's the homemade maple syrup mm. from my maple tree in my yard. I got 10 gallons and it made me four small jars. And I want to just say, Jeremy, thank you so much for sharing that with us because I know that was a sacrifice for you. Well, I just, it doesn't go very far. No, it doesn't. And you know, and I love well, to save it. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you for letting us have some of the chicken. Also, Kelly, you said you could spoon the sauce over the chicken oh, or maybe flip it. Well, I only have that spoon. Oh, so. all right then. So or you can just kind of flip them and I think marinate. I'll flip them. So the sauce basically is in there with the maple syrup, the mustard, yeah. the salt, the pepper, the we'll, butter. We'll get it all marinated there. Flip them and get all the juices in there in the chicken. All right. So um, you have one more thing that we or two that we might add. This is just as yes, a garnish. So let me tell you what this says to add to the chicken, guys. Uh, we returned the chicken to the pan. Mm -hmm. We're getting it hot. Now it said one teaspoon of minced rosemary, parsley, or thyme. Optional. Oh, now well. you could do one, you could do both, you could do three, you could do none. It's okay. up to you. Honestly, uh, I think it's pr the parsley is kind of pretty. It's not going to add a lot of extra flavor. This one was going to add a little more flavor, and I wish we had rosemary because I love it. Oh, we, we do. Oh, we do. The we garlic. Do. No, oh. garlic. Yes, yeah, sorry. So, we do have all. Jeremy, of them. what do you want to do? What do you think? Should we oh, add all? I think we should definitely add the rosemary and garlic. Okay, so it just says take a teaspoon okay. and lightly sprinkle okay. on top. Okay. Just sprinkle That's it a on. Teaspoon. I like to grow fresh rosemary uh, at the house and basil. Oh my goodness, it's so good in the summertime. Oh, that's, I can smell that from here. Yeah, that see, so that's just a teaspoon. I'm still going. Look at this. Now, guys, I'll tell you what I do normally do at home. Okay. So for my Brussels sprouts, I will use a, just a regular balsamic vinegar, oh, I and love I'll it. pop in just. I don't measure. I fine. just pop it in. I'm fine with but that. But since I got this, I had this for a recipe that we used on Dishnet mm -hmm. a while ago. They make a honey, you know, like this uh, balsamic vinegar glaze mm -hmm. that we use. And I was like, I was thinking I want to try this. Oh, yeah. And then while I'm standing here, I just had an idea, too. What's that? I think I'm going to drizzle a tablespoon of maple syrup. Oh, yes, please do that. If you can sacrifice think, it, I, please do it. I think it. that would add another element. I agree. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. Yes, okay. Guys, I'm just, I'm kind of winging it. I'm just going to do it like oh, I want to do it at so home. Pretty. The balsamic. Yeah. Vinegar glaze. Look at this. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you're not salivating looking at your I'm TV screens you, right now. I think this might be the healthiest meal that we've made. This is just So really this balsamic vinegar is going to add that sweet and tang. Yes. And yes. look at the beautiful color. Jeremy, See, now I'm it's got the color. Those. I'll be honest I hope you do. If you I'm don't gonna, like them, no. please lie to me. No, no. I, I, <laughs> I know myself well enough to tell you I'm going to love those. Now what I'm going to do, Kel, uh, is I'm going to go ahead go. and add. Do you want to use this? I'm going to use this oh. one I use for the maple syrup. Okay. Um, and it is, I wish I had another spoon, I would just have you try this maple syrup oh, yeah, that's by okay. itself. Yeah. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of this homemade maple, but again, you Here. can go ahead. Let me just dab it in there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is that not amazing? That is so delicious. It is, and I'll also tell you something else too, guys, that I've learned since making maple syrup the last few years. The real maple syrup. Yeah. The lighter the color, the higher the quality. Oh, really? So this is kind of dark because my old property, I had sugar maples, which is the top tier. Oh, right, right. This is just a regular maple tree, and it's darker. The maple syrup I made with my sugar maples was very light. Very tan, light, really. Was like it sweeter? Tan. I think the sugar maple is slightly sweeter, okay. but it's natural sugar, yeah, so it's oh natural. No. Yeah. Um, but, oh my gosh. Oh, it's, it is. It's, it's really, really good. And you know what, Cal? I'm going to try one of these Brussels sprouts. Make sure we no, don't need more uh, salt. When we, when I get the maple syrup, the you know the organic kind, when I, that's kind of buy when I do. It seems a little. Maybe they add sugar to it because it, it, it's a, got a heavier consistency than that. Yes. Yeah, see, because real maple syrup has more liquidy okay. than thick. Right. And there's nothing added to this, so I don't feel guilty. Like you know, I don't like to do sugar. I do a low no. sugar diet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't feel guilty eating this because this came from my property, it came Absolutely. from my yard. Absolutely. This is God's sugar right That's here. That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't burn your mouth. Mm. Oh, so good. Now. Yeah, I, okay. I'm, I'm good with that. You know I'm good with that. A little bit more salt? Uh-huh. Because here's the thing. When you're cooking at home, guess what you do? You taste well, it you as you go. you taste it as you go so that it can be exactly right. Guess I think this chicken's going to be beautiful. Add a little bit more of this. Now, do we serve this from the pan or do you put it back out? I think that? we can put it on that dish because that was cooked chicken we put on there, right? Yes. Or, or we could just leave it like this if you want. We don't, I don't care. I don't care. It's pretty in the pan with all that glaze. 
Oh my goodness, that's I'm loving it. So good. Now, Kel, that's almost caramelized. That looks it great. It does, and mm -hmm. it will not offend me. If you need to add more salt, oh, okay. that doesn't offend me. Right. It's to each their own yeah, on the salt content. Well, um, now, what should we do? Should we uh, just uh, look at this? With the yeah, picture. I don't remember what the picture was. I'm not sure how. Could it we was. see the picture again yeah. one more time of the finished product? Because I. Well, oh, it just looks like now that. look, they've got a little parsley on there, so let's just let's do a little, a little bit of parsley. And I bet how we could pour all of that onto that platter okay. and just have them on the sure. platter. We'll do it. And then have the sauce drizzling. All right. You ready for me to transfer? I think so. I think that chicken's plenty done. I'm going to taste yeah, this Brussels sprouts one more time. Okay, so we'll drizzle. Mmm. I mean, for presentation, what would be pretty too? Not that we're going to do it, but to put put the chicken on top of the. Oh, Brussels I didn't even sprouts. think about yeah. that. All right, so I'm going to pour this on top. Yes. Oh, look at that. That did thicken up. Oh, beautiful. Because oh. I'm a sauce girl. I want. No, all, yeah, get all that I sauce. All that That's going to be great. There. there we go. Oh that's my goodness, beautiful. That is okay. so pretty. Let's leave that there. If you want to try to do a side by side, yeah, uh, that's fine. If not, I can also add some Brussels sprouts to the side. But the, oh, but be... the after picture didn't have it. But... No, but that'd be a pretty presentation. Okay, hold on. All right. I'm just gonna put. Let me scoot that over a little bit and then put a little of the Brussels sprouts. I cannot right. wait to try the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. There we go. It's just lighting, guys. But look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, that, that looks I can't wait, I can't to, wait to, to try that. it. I can't wait to eat that. Okay, now, I'm taking off my gloves now. Jeremy, what did you use that knife for? Maybe we could cut the chicken with this that. This is butter knife. Oh, just can for I, butter. Can I use yeah, that? absolutely. Okay. So, would you like a little piece? Yes. Here? Oh, yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Bigger. Or, I mean, smaller. I mean, <laughs> I, said, oh, I was gonna say bigger here, or smaller. Here, let me do this. That's totally fine. And then, fine. do you want to add the Brussels sprouts to um, the plate? Yes. Like that. That's perfect. Okay. I'll take the other side of that chicken. Okay. Oh gosh! And I'm I hope you like this. Don't burn yourself, Cal. No, and I'm going to cut it a little bit so so other people can try. Do you want me to cut your chicken? Oh yes, please, just a little. All right. Yeah, you know, and I'll put some Brussels sprouts on your plate. Okay, thank you. I hope you like them. Oh, I know I will. I absolutely know I will. Give me a nice, yeah. good, big one right there. Oh, this is so great. Oh man, this makes me want to make this for dinner tonight. Oh man. I mean, I'm used to making the Brussels sprouts, but <laughs> you know, this makes me want to do That's more cooking perfect. at the house. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. I can't wait to taste it. I might have to dip it in that sauce too again. Or, whoops, what, oh yeah. Oh, here, you know we can do Oh, dip, dip it on there. There we go. Yes. There we go. That's perfect. Yes. Okay. Get a little sauce. Okay. I think this might be my favorite thing we've had I so far. I hope so. Here, get some more sauce for you too, though. Yes. Let me taste this chicken. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. That fork, okay. That chicken, oh my gosh, the flavor. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That is good. And I'm, I really am excited for Kelly to try the Brussels sprouts, though. No, don't burn yourself. I have to tell you, this is this is high quality restaurant stuff. <laughs> this is we're opening up our own restaurant. Mm -hmm. I love it. I hope you do because I love them so much. No, I do. So easy. I'll try to write down the recipe. Oh my goodness! Again. I, 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 you know what? I want to make this. Okay, I do too. Jeremy, listen. Oh, sorry, wait, it. You start, Kelly. You rate it. Twenty-five. <laughs> Twenty-five. 26. Okay. Good to know, really, this is absolutely delicious. Melt in your mouth. The flavors all melt together. I'm telling you, this is, this is one of my faves. You know what? I'll be honest. I feel guilty eating in front of all of you. I really do. It's so good. Okay. Until next time, we are dishing, dishing it. it. Now I don't want to talk anymore. I just want to eat. Let's just eat. <laughs> Man, that's good.